There you go. There you go. Oh, get him. Crank him. Oh. Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody. I am super excited this morning because we have not done any salmon fishing at all this year. So Austin gave me a call yesterday. They got an absolutely giant. That thing was almost 39 pounds. So I'm pretty excited. And the other part I love to do, I love when I can catch salmon and it's with a rod in my hand. But uh, I think the bite is going to be on fire. What's our lucky going day. On? Good to see it. Dude, look at you, man. Look at this guy. What are you doing this kid? Okay, so basically, you're gonna watch the screen and see where we're marking them. So most of our marks right now are in the bottom five feet. So we're gonna take our jig and spoon and just drop it. So you hit the bottom. What kind of jigging technique? Are you ripping it hard or Yeah, you're giving it a pretty good rip. Okay. I would like more aggressive than anything else I do. So once I'm tight on bottom, I'm gonna give it, they're pretty low, so I'll give it two cranks up. And then I'm giving it a good two to four foot rip. So. Wow, you're really snapping it. Yep. Huh? And your bites are not what you would expect. You're expecting this freight train clobber. Yeah, no, it's like, it feels like something's just chewing on it. All of a sudden on the way down, you'll feel like, like it just feels weird. Okay. And as soon as you feel that little tappy, scratchy, yep. weird feeling, reef them. Okay. Or you'll be dropping it down, it just doesn't go down. Okay. It just slacks out and completely stops. They got it. All your bites are on the fall. Nice job. Nice job, Austin. Holy moly. Woohoo! Gotta love that. I'll tell you what, this is so, so. So cool. Love it. Up oh, early. He doesn't even know what's going on. Well, you just had a bite right before that. Too. Yeah, usually when they go, they go. Oh, Woo! oh, oh, oh man. Oh, 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 oh. That is so wow. It's just like I was talking about. It's kind of halfway on my downstroke. Yep. And I'll see just feel like. The, the, just just like a like, tap tap. You would like think a fish. like a perch bite. God, you think a fish like that would just smoke it. I think they come up and they just like, nom, nom, nom. They yeah. like gnaw on it. Woo! There he is. Nice fish. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Love that. I got the, I got the, the hook in the net. Nah, that's all right. Whoa, it's had a nice fish. Woo! Love it. Look at that boy. He's got that spoon all the way in his mouth. Oh. He choked it. Wow. I'll tell you, that is so cool. You know, like I said earlier, everybody, we haven't done any salmon shows at all. And Austin called me yesterday. He had one that was almost 39 pounds. You're, what are you, that fish might be one of the biggest fish. So we're not, we're not positive. I'm sure somebody's caught one that didn't get, you know, publicized or something. Right. So from fish that we know about, okay, we're pretty sure it's the biggest salmon caught on the Wisconsin side of the lake since the 90s. Wow. And there's That's been three this year over 37 and a half. Okay. Which all three, I think, are the biggest since the 90s. And this is what you're getting. Yep. So this Ooh. is a male. That is a nice. Beast staging Chinook salmon, so they're not spawning yet, they're just coming in, staging up, getting ready to spawn. Okay, so, I'm marking them like crazy. Yep, on there's my a lot of fish here, so. Good deal, let's get another one. Hey, Austin says change spoons, I'm changing. Rip it a little harder, Cam. Like, there you go, yeah. I wanna hook one of them babies so bad. I wanna see you guys hook one. That there he is goes. So, now he's running. That is so cool. Now he's running. Holy tamole. Jumping Jupiter. Boy, Austin, you were right. Unbelievable. This is go. so cool. 
Nice job. He's taking you to the hills, man. He's burning. <laughs> He's probably halfway to the lighthouse. Are you kidding me? Nope, he's going. You want, we, you, you, right. you're controlling the boat, so if you need to spot, I'm taking off spot lock or anything. Remember, you all started with that huge muskie. Then ever since then, you retired, you <laughs> fell apart, right? You can't get a girlfriend. You're, you're messing up in sports, you're getting hurt, right? Now, you're back to your root roots. Holy <laughs> Look at the size of that one. Woohoo! Get him? Yeah! Let's go! Nice job! Dude, my forearm was burning the whole time. You got a I almost had Larry take it for a minute. <laughs> oh, I wasn't taking it. Are you kidding oh. me? <laughs> Hang on to him, Sonny. Hang on to him, Grasshopper. That's a big boy. That's a mama. That's it's a mama. full of presents. I did what you said when you like left the, like, the inch when it was going down. Yeah, and then you like, just feel yeah, like that yeah. tick, tick, tick. Yeah, yeah, the first one I did it. Yeah, so let me know about that drive. Because, yeah, I I mean, pretty much. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, oh. Well, he just, he just, like you said, he just. He's coming right at you. Punch, 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 punch. <laughs> Whoa, that is such a, oh, that is such a great feeling. Oh, wow. Woo, look at that reel. That's gonna spool me out. He's, he's, oh, he's going. On the chase. <laughs> Come on, Larry. Putting the beans to him, trying to get him back. If you've never experienced catching a salmon jigging, you definitely got to do it. Oh, it's coming back this way. Oh, he's going back the other way. Oh, came off. On button. Yep. Came on button. Hey, today I'm basically using a 6.8 medium uh, Mags custom rod. I'm, I've got 12 pound test super braid on here with a 14 pound test leader. Uh, Austin's using a little bit different rods. His rods are working real good too. Um, but having the right rod for when you're jigging is, is absolutely crucial, you know? And you gotta be able to get that performance out of the bait. And by having the right rod, you're gonna, that's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Nice. Woo! Loving it. There he goes. Now he knows. Oh, <laughs> that feels so good. Yeah. Woo! Nice job, Austin. All right. Nice job. So this would be... So you know like they spawn at four? Yeah. 60, 70% of them spawn at four. Right. The other 30, 40% will go at three or five. No kidding. Yep. Okay, so that's interesting. Mother nature's way of, let's say, you know, in Alaska and they're in a river and they spawn and there was a drought and all the babies the next spring died in the river, right? Of protecting itself. Because you have a couple from different year classes, you're still gonna have something come back so you don't lose a whole year. I never even thought about yeah. that. Boy, that makes a lot of sense too. Nice so this fish. Is a three -year -old. It's a mix in the lake of stocked and wild fish. And oh, I thought they were all stocked. We're estimating at this point that almost 60% of the Chinooks in the lake are now wild. That's crazy. But all the natural reproduction happens on the other side because they have rivers that are conducive to cold water and spawning. Okay. Larry, I can't see you. You're so small behind that fish. Hey, what are you talking about, man? That's because Austin's so tall. That's a fact. Here, get down <laughs> yeah, on your level. Right, right. Let's have to do it, Jeff, too. Nice job. All right, game on. Get another one. Hey, Leroy Lunch. We have smoked fish. Another, what do you say? Party, pack oh, of yeah. ham, any bad, I mean, you name it. Any, anytime someone asks you to come over. Just a little snack, even. Bring a dip over. Yeah, you want to have some fun? They have quite a few seasonings on their smoked fish, but I just grabbed these today. They said this one, the blackberry pepper smoked salmon is like the hottest seller in place. So I'm gonna try both of them, see what they taste like. We're gonna make a little salmon dip here. All right, I'm gonna finish chopping this. Yep, you got that minced up. I'm gonna break the fish up in the pan here. It just I mean, flakes apart. That's, you can tell it's smoked perfect. 
I like taking the fatty stuff off. I just break it up and put it in the pan. You're going to get dirty. I don't care what people say. To make stuff like this, you're going to get dirty. I'm going to throw some Philly in there. Make sure it's room temperature. I mean, to pull it right out of the refrigerator, forget it. You'll you never know? work with it. You'll never work with it. If you just throw it in the microwave 20, 30 seconds at a time until it gets soft, put your celery in. I got some Worcestershire sauce uh, right here, some chives. And once again, you guys, when you go to Leroy's, their fish is, I mean, you can get regular smoked, but they have seasoned stuff like this, so it, it takes half of the ingredients you got to throw into it when they, when they have it made already for you like that. So today we're going to go Ritz. What's the saying? Everything tastes good on a Ritz. Yep. Smoked salmon dip, Leroy lunchtime. Perfect. Thanks for coming in, Josh. You bet. Hey, I'll tell you, what an exciting morning so far. And this is, for me, this is the ultimate because I'm not a huge troller. If we have to troll to catch the fish, I will do it. But any type of fishing that I can hands on, you know, basically control what I'm doing. And I know I got to have the right cadence, the right technique, and it's coming from me, not the person that's setting the lines up. It's a lot more fun. And to be able to feel that fish actually hit that bait and actually physically set the hook versus the rod being in a rod holder is the absolutely ultimate. And you know, Austin, we fish with him uh, a handful of times now, basically a lot for steelhead in the spring. We've done quite a bit of ice fishing with him. And he's one of them guys that is just extremely knowledgeable and knows a lot about fine details. And you know, that's really what separates you know, an average fisherman from a great fisherman are fine details. You know, when you look around, and you know, no offense to anybody else that's in the harbor today, but so far I've not seen another fish caught. I gotta try that one. I mean, if, if it, it works, works right? you know? there you go, hooked up, hooked up. Mitchie, woo! Just let him run. Oh, look! Oh. Like a little you torpedo. Okay, so hang on, when he's running, don't reel. Yep. Oh, Whoa! Oh, stay on him, stay that on him. Is when so it's cool. easy, you reel. When he's running, don't that reel. That fish is jumping like a whale. <laughs> hey, Mitch, is that beats that goby you just had on. Shut you up. You got excited about the goby. Now look at him, he's, he's locked yeah, up, he can't cool. even talk. I, there's something about kings that makes me say bro a lot. You roll? Like the rest of the year, I don't really say it, but when we're catching salmon, I'm like, bro, bro, bro. Holy man, I can't, did you see how many times that fish jumped? That was awesome. Oh, it's just like a, a graceful, jump. just a graceful yeah, just jump. Like, just. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Nice job, Mitch. Nice job, Austin. Nice fish, nice job. That, are you kidding me? What, what do you think, Mitch? Probably big enough to eat Larry's little. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I take offense to that. That's not unusual, that. though. You know, I'm using the Pan Optics Live Scope here today, and I'm really watching these fish come right in on it. I've got it on, on downward scan, um, and I can see both my baits and uh, along with Austin's bait and it's nice to see them fish come in because when I, I see them come in, I'm definitely pausing it just a second longer. And that's really the, the big difference, you know, just kind of changing my cadence up a little bit when I see a fish that's aggressive. And uh, in a lot of times I've seen the fish that we've hooked, I've seen them come in and swing back on it, you know, two to three times. The other part is it really keeps you intrigued too, you know. If you didn't know they were down there, you know, you kind of get lost in, uh, you know, a beautiful day out here, a couple of apples in the belly, you know, sun drop in the cooler. Well, as, as long as I beat Mitch, that's all I care. All those ones. There you go. Nice. Mitchy! Woohoo! All right. The one and only. Oh, look at that fish, he's way out there. Holy, holy, holy. It's a, it's, oh, so it doesn't count, it's Cam. Right, I'm still ahead one. Run the gas, boys. Yep. Nice job, nice job. Man. 
There he is, right here, right here. Now he's gonna go that way. I cannot believe that he did not come on hook. Whoa. I thought it came off when it jumped all the way over there. Like, yeah, I mean, it was 200 yards yeah. away. When he was out by that boat right there, he went like this back and forth. He had that bait in his mouth, and then that freaking bait came out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe he got that fish in. Raptor. It's a great day to be alive. <laughs> <laughs>
it doesn't matter so much. Everyone's catching fish. Right. But when the bite's a little bit tougher. And it was tough this it, morning because I didn't not, see very many fish caught right. besides, not bragging, but besides the ones that came out of our boat. And it's it's, it's the small details and, and those tougher days that make all the difference. Hey, Austin, let's tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. All right, so uh, blueribboutdoors.com, Blue Ribbon Outdoors on Facebook. Um, 608-698-3332 is my cell phone number. Um, you can always shoot me an email, give me a call, shoot me a text anytime. Excellent. Hey, everybody, don't forget to check out all of our social media avenues, Facebook, Twitter, and no doubt check out our podcast. We Eat Fish Eat every Tuesday, brand new podcast. Remember, like I always say, we are still living in the greatest country in the world as of today, and no doubt it is a great day to be alive, and we will definitely see you next week. How fast does it go? Why didn't you give a rip? Oh, give a rip. Hang on. Throttle on the right. I'm already on the throttle. This thing is awesome. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, he doesn't even care about it. It's like having a child and just leaving it out on the street. Here, I'm pampering it all the time, washing it down, talking to it, you know? Cam will come back someday, I tell you.